Peter Quill. Peter Quill, wake up. Uh, Drax, we talked about this, man. You gotta stop. Your illegitimate child was correct, Peter Quill. Hovat and Camaria will be restored. Uh, d d yeah, okay. Um, we just need to have faith. Uh, Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family. Your mother. The Kree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I, I, Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Uh, not exactly, but, but not because I don't want to. It's just, I have questions. I understand. The Matriarch's promise is overwhelming. Overwhelming is a word for it. It also took me time to see the miracle of her promise. Yes, yes, uh, time. I just need... Time. I will give you time, Peter Quill. However, I am less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Because <laughs> they're our family, man. Just... Give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I, I know it. Uh, take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's gonna be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And, and Rocket. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. What Nikki, uh, the, the, the matriarch, is, is offering... It's, it's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. You'll come around. I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's, that's, that's great. I'm, I'll, I'll let the others know. No, I will fetch her and bring her to you. How? She's like a million light years away. We have already landed on our planet. Think well, Peter Quill. When I return, she will demand your answer. Wait! Drax! We can talk about this! Great. Yo, Quill. You there? Please tell me you're not dead. Quill? Locked. Oh, I'm here, Rocket! Oh, thank Flark. Peter? Rocket? Why is my door locked from the outside? Yeah. Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? I am Groot. I know, it's, it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosanct to find the Matriarch. But don't worry. 
Don't worry. Yeah, you know, be happy. I might be able to activate the Milano self-destruct sequence. That's your plan? What, you got a better one? A little hard to concentrate with Peter singing. I'm thinking. Ah, uh, think somewhere else. Stop singing. For your information, the Llama thing finds my voice delightful. Her name's Cammy. That's it. We're locked in, but she's not. So, she's an idiot. Doesn't mean she can't help us. Can you transfer ship schematics to my tablet? Maybe get me a camera feed. Yeah, okay. Why? I want to check where Cammy is. Done. Go ahead and grab it. Okay, I see her. Gamora, sing something, anything. Why? Just do it! <sighs> this is me singing a song. I hope you like it because <laughs> oh, I don't. Wow, she hates your voice. Fuck you! It's good! She responds to singing. Maybe if we direct her to that panel near the cockpit... The emergency door controls. Yes! Just keep singing. I'll use the PA and try to lure her to chew the lock override. She chews everything. Here's a little song I wrote. Uh, something, something, note for note. Peter, do I really have to do this? I mean, Cammy's a space llama. One who apparently doesn't even like my voice. Ugh. Okay, come on, girl. Give it a little nibble. Uh, do what you do best, you toothy bastard. Guys! I think she's doing it! <laughs> I can't believe it worked! We're not on the sacrosanct. We're on a planet. Well, that's a flarkin' relief. Let's get the scud out of here before Drax comes back with his new best friend, the Kratakin Matriarch. Rocket, stop! We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No, no, not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Well, Flark, Quill. It's about Kratak in time you showed some Nords. Fine. I'm in. Any other objections? Nope. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Then let's go find our friend. I want to make sure you're up for this. Don't matter, Quill. I'll try anyways. I know you're ready. I'm Groot. Ready to go out there and get Drax back? Ready? No. But the longer we wait, the further he'll drift away. Okay, here we go. 
not this place. You know where we are? In a flock in Lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah, oh, the stuff is gross! Ah, uh, are you kidding me? Ah, uh, wet fur is the worst! Rocket! You all right? That's it! I hate water! I hate being wet! And I hate not getting paid! We're not here to get paid. We're here to save Drax. Here are strange. Guys, this is Lamentis, home of the priests of Panma. More religious nut jobs. Great. They aren't nuts. They're pacifist exiles. Pacifists. But... That's even worse. I am good. You saw them on nowhere? That's the last place I'd expect to see a priest. So how do you know this place? I came here after a job went bad. What kind of job? It involved my sister and. It's not relevant right now. If Drax thinks this is the Matriarch's planet, something's off. Uh, tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. Only part of an ocean. Uh... Don't fall, you won't get wet. Yeah? Well, how do you know Drax didn't fall? Quit worrying, Rocket. Anything happens, Gamora will jump in after you. I will? She will? Yes, because we're a team. And Gamora's the most sprightly. Uh, I think I'd rather drown. We should sink on our plan for when we find. Found Drax! Fine scoundrel. Where is she? Where is the Matriarch? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him down! Drax! Buddy, just calm down! No! She called me here! Men lost! Rocket, a little help here! Uh. <laughs> How did you... What? Oh, that. Lysa once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. Or is it Omphad who teaches me later? Don't worry, Green Mimi's fine. <clears throat> fine. What are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? Whisper a course correct, obviously. Shh. It's okay. Stay with me. Quiet in the dark. Another one of your girlfriends, Quill? Oh, no. Not in this time. Come on, the creepy cave's this way. The what now? The creepy cave, where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark is in unknown, not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad, but no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad, very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am good. The point is, or was, or... Which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns. And in some, we save him. Here! And here we are, where the Kotadi take root. So... 
Just to be clear, there's a timeline where me and you... Peter, focus. Right. Uh, what's a Katati? I am... Uh, plant people, like Groot, but, uh, lame. The Kochati are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <laughs> What are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of the space case. She's not a space... Ooh, spooky! Spooky is right. Uh, more like deadly. Are we sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just needs to sleep it off. I mean, he seems fine. Ish. My telepathic control won't last, little fuzzy. Only Green Meanie's friends ever help him see through the Matriarch's lies. Watch out! Double floor! Phew! Allison said that one in time. Everyone just remember we're here for Drax. Though, it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Oh, for sure. It's always. Whoa! This is really unstable. Lousy cave's gonna kill us all. Oh no, not all of us. Not this time. More water? What's wrong with this lousy planet? Doesn't seem that bad. Come on, Rocket. A little water's not gonna hurt you. Death by drowning is actually quite common throughout Little Fuzzy's alternate future. I have heard so many of his panic final gasps. Okay, let's not tell Little Fuzzy that. Too late. I heard. So, maybe the current's a little stronger than I thought. <laughs> nice! Whatever you found in there, Quill, pretty sure it ain't worth getting rent for. Get drier from here on out. Oh, you are so wrong, Stir Fry. Hi ya! Get up! Crap! That was kind of close. That one sometimes gets the mora. I doubt it. <laughs> you are sure we're headed the right way, Mantis? I think so. Okay, well, it's too wide to jump here. We'll need to look around, find another way. Mantis, any chance tracks can. Green Meanie cannot be burdened. It takes all my mental fortitude to keep him enmeshed in lies. I spotted a little mousy hole here. Any ideas, Gamora? Only one, and I don't think he can help us right now. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. All right, Gamora, let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no! I don't trust them not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where Little Fuzzy dies in this cave. Rocket, you feeling lucky? Yo, geniuses. This thing above me don't look too sturdy. Knock it loose and we got our bridge. Try your blast. Still ignoring the bigger problem of not knowing what we're looking for. Don't focus on what. Focus on how much. 
of times Drax has done something for us. Name one time. Remember when he saved our butts in that mining ship? Scoff, he saved your butt. Uh, this is a lot of trouble to go to for a freaking colleague. Drax has definitely been there for us before. Like on Seknarf. First time we got jumped by that tiger with the squid face. Oh, Stumpy. And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis? Should we be worried about this fog? I take it back. Having normal Drax around would have been useful just then. What are the odds of those things living on this planet? Maybe they weren't native to Seknar? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here, tracking us across the ends of the galaxy, because she wants us dead. Lady H wants us dead. You realize what that means? We're all gonna die? I think I see what he's doing. It means we're a team! When we piss someone off, we piss them off together. I'm gonna assume that sounded better in your head. Water, fog, and monsters. What's the Florkin deal with this place? There has always been a great power here. The priests tell tales of those who were here before them, and what wonderful things they could do. I don't remember hearing anything about that. You weren't ready to listen last time you were here. Are you good? Why were you here again, Gamora? What the floor? There's two of them. Two of what? Mantis, do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? Inconclusive. But I'm thinking no. What do you think, Will? Are you best friends? Yeah, maybe not. Really excited? 
excited to see us? Oh no! Never! Nice to meet you! That's one rock creep crumbled! Oh, I remember this part. Something bad happens here, something we have to avoid. Mantis? Over here. All right. I like Drax as much as the next guy, but I am officially sick of his stupid cake! Oh, Bug Lady? She couldn't guide her way out of a bathroom! Are you the rock face we're looking for? Not sure if I wanted to answer or not. Whatever gets us out of here. You, uh, see something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before? Forlorn faces that can see, like me, horrors yet to come. And other shadows, too. Ours? Not ours? A figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then? I see rocks and, uh, crystal things. A statue that looks like a face and more rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see friends willing to die for another friend. Yeah, well... I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, Star Guy. Me too. At least the crystals are kind of pretty. Eh, I've seen better formations. These look like regular silicates. Oh, there's nothing regular about the way they resonate, little fuzzy. Then they might actually be worth a few units. To the right buyer, of course. Looks like there's something on the other side. Too bad Drax is out of it. I'm sure he'd love to punch a giant face. Rocket, think you can crawl in there? For what? So I can get eaten by whatever lives inside? The stone faces. Whatever we're looking for is beyond or beneath or behind one of the faces. What do you say, Rocket? I bet you can find us a way back there. Fine. Whatever. <coughs> Ugh, smells like rotten spike eggs in here. Okay, send in the charge. Stand back! I don't think this is the one where he kills us. that thing, group. Right. We need access first. Jack really did seem to care about the Nova kid, didn't he? Always wanting us to do right by her. Even when it was clearly a bad idea. I am Groot. Of course little Fuzzy cared. Under that angry exterior is a heart of gold. Hey, Groot, buddy. Think you could lift this? I'm Groot. I am Groot. Your bark's crawling. I'd almost jump into the water if it made the creepy crawly feeling go away. I am Groot. No, there ain't nothing he needs to know about me. Keep your bark hole shut. We'll 
We'll each need to face our fears. Some here, some not. But facing them is most important. You know, running is sometimes good too. For you, yes, Star Guy. Found another way. Just me or them crystals look super dangerous. Don't worry your fuzzy little head. You only die from a great fall in two timelines. This probably isn't one of them. We need to get on those crystals, Groot. I'm good. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling. Definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Oh, little fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. Maybe we need to accept that not everything can be explained. The galaxy's a weird place. Just gotta go with the flow. Getting lost in a deadly cave is your idea of going with the flow? We aren't lost, little fuzzy. At least, not in this version. We're recovering what other versions of us have already found. Isn't it exciting? If you want to stop Rooker, finally the face of a thousand lies, I think. It's gonna help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. We seek something behind the face, beyond the lies. You want me to blow it up? Scott! Watch out, everybody! Uh, thanks. You don't usually make it. The Kotati mentioned the faces in the dark before, but I always thought it was metaphorical. Bug Lady is absolutely bonkers. Of course I'm angry. I'm wet, wandering around a cave that's falling apart, looking for Flark knows what! Rocket, buddy! Nope. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Clark, I'm going in. No! You mustn't! You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you! Something bad is about to happen! Oh, oh that's it! I'm going in! Clark it! Blow up this statue, save Drax, and get out of here! Yes, but... Time to start trusting our instincts, Quill. Bug Lady said the face is keeping us from helping Drax, so we gotta destroy it! Little Fuzzy, don't do whatever it is you're about to do! No, no, no! Do I'm done with all the riddles! Don't run! Mm -hmm. Not do whatever you're just hear did. Mantis out on this, okay? Give me a tick to think, okay? What if the whole place collapses? Then at least you wouldn't have to argue with him anymore! Not helping! Groot, can you tell him to stop? Little Fuzzy's in a mood, we're probably gonna die. Rocket, don't! Rocket! Yes, I've seen this a lot. You wanna know the plan? Yep! One. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. Where is the matriarch? This is the one where I fail. It's okay. The one where I fail is the one where you don't. Shh. Stay with me. Hey, guys! Check it out! I'm totally not dead! What? You 
almost killed all of us! No more blowing things up, Rocket! Ever! You're gonna regret saying that. Servo! Are you Spartoy? Why didn't I know that? Maybe you aren't always... Or I forgot. What? Those guns do something again, Quill? He saved Drax after you almost killed us all! How'd a gun do that? Show him! Star Guy! Oh, just remembered one of my favorite Priest of Palma stories about this place. And that's how it's done. Eh, me exploding stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Beg me! Next time we're in a huge fight, more of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, little Fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, Chitauri, Wait, water. Wait, hang on. Did you say Chitauri? Oh, I did, didn't I? Such a funny sounding word. This is impossible! I thought I'd never see these markers again! I <gasps> hoped I never would!
of yours is still bothering you though, right? What thing? I'm fine. Let's just focus on helping Drax. <laughs> He's gonna be upset he didn't get to fight all those things. Uh, just how far down does this cave go? Legends say the entire planet is hollow! Heads up! I don't think they're looking to make amends, Quill. Oh, maybe I can help. I think I speak their language. about as well as expected. I was sure. Oh, maybe I just have that word for I think I picked up the word for kill. Or the grunt, anyway. The Providence seems to bother whatever these giant things are. They're really smart enough to not wander around in it. Unlike some people. I know why we're doing it. And don't think Drax won't hear all about it, either. Oh, is this the one where little Fuzzy does something heroic? Hard to say. I think it's pretty easy to say he won't. You, most of all, should be willing to give someone another chance, Gamora. Are you sure that's the right way, Peter? I'm sure that it's not, but let's not tell Star Guy. He needs to learn for himself. I can hear you! Even better! <laughs> Sunlight, does that mean 
there are holes on the surface that lead all the way down here? Maybe that's it. All these jerks are being back in a spell in it. Drax, we should make up a story about how we battled some epic, one-of-a-kind monster. Oh, you won't have to make that up. This looks like something Gamora could use. How can an entire planet be hollow? Doesn't it need a core or something for gravity or atmosphere? Got any other science words you want to throw out there, Gamora? Electromagnetic field? <laughs> Um, guys. I know, little fuzzy. And it is the only way forward. What's happening? He sees what lies ahead. And I see what lies behind. Uh-uh. No way. No flarkin' way. It doesn't seem that wet. Like, medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! Maybe there's a way to use those plants that divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this keep us from saving tracks? Sure! You save him while I drown! How does it even grow down here? I don't know. But those big leaves could be useful. Like a dam. Dam what? No, it's... Never mind. Yes! It's just a plant plant, not a you plant. But we ain't got much choice. What do you think, Rocket? Doesn't seem that bad. Translation. Rocket don't... Rocket don't like wet. We get it. It's a scary dark cave. We're all probably gonna encounter things we don't like. True. But nothing as much as Little Fuzzy doesn't like getting wet. Never underestimate someone's deeply rooted fear, Sir Fry. Especially when you do not understand the root. I could try blowing it up, I guess. No! Remember last time you blew something up? Okay, fine. Maybe something else out. What would you guys do without me? Yeah, where, oh where, would we get another gun? And... Ugh, crap! It must still be stuck somewhere. That's one big beanstalk. The almighty Star-Lord. You say something? Please. Still holding on. Mora, let's climb up there. Get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. In Little Fuzzy's defense, he has died drowning in far less water than this? Exactly! Wait, what? This doesn't seem absurd to you? He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? You're supposed to be his leader. Have you met Rocket? Bullseye! Bullseye! Missing Drax's anecdotes about Kadath. Oh, you know he has some Kadathian very young ways to work for situation. Like the Kadathian equivalent of Jack the Giant Beanstalk. Just like that! Please, don't give him an even bigger head than he's already got. Sure, they're big enough to block the water, but they're growing in the wrong direction. You're the only plant that grows that fast. Too bad you don't have these sweet guns, Rocket. Keep it up and I'll swipe him in your sleep. Come on. 
on. It's like 50% less wet. I'm 0% interested. All right. Come on. Let's... No! 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 We must have missed one. Actually, kind of refreshing. Like a quick shower. What do you say, Rocket? I ain't ever showered either, and I ain't gonna start now. Hey, Groot, can you get me up there? I am Groot. He's on his way. Just tell him how high. Thanks! Hey, if I jump, you can catch me, right? Guess we'll find out. That's not very reassuring. Just don't screw up the jump. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we just leave him behind? Focus on saving the rats. He'll still be here on the way back, and if he is, Groot would never go for that. That's why they call me Star-Lord! Got the whole team together? Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. You really, really shouldn't. This cramped corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. But what now? I thought we just did the wet part. <laughs> 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 I'd be seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. I am Groot. Has he always been able to do that? I am Groot. He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. I am Groot. No, I don't gotta tell him. Oh, right. The thing that you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't! Shut up! You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just... The lab I was in did tests on me in tubes of water. And it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on Half-World. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Mark, I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just prefer to keep dry as all. So how long do we gotta wander around smashing our shins on rocks? Imagine it's a metaphor. You're in the physical darkness, and that reflects Green Meanie's mind. We can double back along Groot's path, and then try to find the exit. Rocket, something's wrong with my visor. I can't see anything. Huh. Must be Groot's bioluminescence. It ain't on the defined light spectrum. Uh, right. Creepy? 
Remember the deal, Quill. You find anything shiny, we split it. Anyone else getting really fed up with Little Miss Cryptic? Pretty? <laughs> Give me a break. At least it seems less dark through here, and less wet. Works for me. Mantis, anything in particular we should be looking out for? I'm trying to remember. I think this is where it gets loopy. Uh, there's that creepy fog again. It's always here. Always. Until it is What's that supposed to- Shh. I don't- More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those Flarknards. It's them creepy eyeball things from the QZ. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball right. I can't tell. It's not clear. Well, it's clear to me. These ears don't lie, lady. I think I can tell the difference between Lady Hellbender's minions and some giant bugs. Well, shh. What do you mean, shh? It's your guys right. Shh. And about what? Shh. There's a new way out. So it was nothing. I think it depends. It's got something to do with the freaky fog. So the key all along was to keep quiet? Every time you name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. Yeah, like that was ever gonna happen. I saw... versions of us fighting so many different things, but the source, it's not done with us yet, Guardians. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut from now on. The fog entity has retreated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, Bug Lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. So the fog is an entity now? Yes! Sort of. Obviously, if some fog monster's trying to kill us, it means we're getting closer to... Whatever it is we're looking for. That kind of makes sense. And if this fog monster can make bad things appear, maybe the opposite is true. Like if we all say cure Drax, maybe that's what we've been looking for the whole time. I wish, Stargar, but no. The one time she gives a definite answer. Bridge to, uh, over there. Feel that? We're so close. Let me guess. Further down. And the whole galaxy. Let me get back to you. Uh oh. You hear that? No. What is it? Rushing water. Lots of it. Oh, and the odds of you drowning are getting higher and higher. Okay. One last time. It's fun. Remember this part. Okay, okay. Look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water. <laughs> no, no, Quill. She doesn't know where we are, she doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for! Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, <gasps> okay! This is crazy. She is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um... Well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly! And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me, just as depraved, self-centered, mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. 
I still like many of those things. So do I. But none of those things are why we're here now. Right? You're down here kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man! Our friend. And Gamora. You've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people. To get revenge in what I can only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. And uh, Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. Or if you do, I don't catch it. But I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us. And that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, pulling a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help! We're a family! We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy! Yay! Really great speech, Will. Why didn't anyone stop me? You're on such a roll! It really was one of your better speeches.
for us. Hey, a friend needed help. Bunch of them. Rocket, man. Hey. Can we please just save Drax already? Warm? Very, very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as flock didn't get all wet for nothing. Something sad and sulking, licking lingering wounds. <laughs> if it's here... She's totally gonna feed us something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect to fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. Doesn't matter what's down here. If it can bring us back our grumpy Catathian, I'm all in. And the rest of you should be too. Come on, guys. We're the freaking guardians of the galaxy. Um... Is that supposed to be me? I heard you make that speech so many times, and then Gamora says something like, We're going to need Drax? We're here. Home of the healing light. Source of the cure. Origin of Raker's power. It's a cocoon? Told you she was gonna feed us to some giant bug. Or maybe she's the bug, and that's some kind of external digestion sack or something. <laughs> Realize this is weird, right? Oh, it gets weirder. What the... Oh, gross! Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. Not the gravity of your treacherous trespass. You cannot quell a god. Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Meanie, you're up. <sighs> Found you. What wayward wickedness is this? Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. Guys, it's him! Aaron Witchcraft! No. Wait. Aiden Warsock! Ashley Warsock? Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine... whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the Sanctimonious Shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. And we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. Uh. 
Oh. <sighs> Riker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas. Her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So, can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... This. 